Are you like me and trying to launch your favorite game from Xbox Game Pass? And when you do, you get this very nice frowny face? Well, I have the solution for you. So what I understand is this is a communication error between the Xbox Live services and your Windows account. For this example, Sea of Thieves is busted for me, which I enjoy to play all the time. I actually bought it from the Microsoft Store when it released. So what I would usually do is go into the Microsoft Store and let me just go see if use here, click it, and I would have a little play button. That would be right there. You see that's gone. I can't even install it, nothing. If I go back over to the Xbox app, you see I can't start it there either. It says include with Game Pass, but I have a little frowny face. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go up here to your name where it says the Game Pass as well. We'll click that and we'll click sign out. That will now sign us out of Game Pass and our Xbox account. We'll go ahead and sign back in. Now that solution works for a lot of people, but as you can see, it did not work for me. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna close the Xbox app. Also make sure it's closed all the way and not just minimize to your taskbar. Then what you want to do is go into your window settings and go to apps and features. Click on the Xbox app, go advanced options. And then what you're going to want to do is scroll down here to where it says reset, repair and reset. We're going to go ahead and reset it. We're going to delete the app data. This is the Xbox app data. Go ahead and reset it. It says permanently data. We'll go ahead and do that. That'll sign us out and reset the data for the Xbox app. Then go ahead and reopen the Xbox app. It should say, welcome to Game Pass, let's play. Go ahead and log in, go to my library, see it thieves. And now I have a play button back. So hopefully that works for you. Again, those are two options. I would suggest doing the first log out and log back in first. And if that doesn't work, then do that reset. And this will work for any game that's on Game Pass. Um, I think my issue with this one is because I bought it in the Microsoft store and I also have a Game Pass Ultimate subscriptions so i think it's a little confused i noticed since i activated a game pass ultimate subscription um some of the games in the xbox app have been pretty janky and busted so go ahead and let me know down in the comments if it helped you out we'll see you next time